In 1854, an extraordinary year, a young 21-year-old evangelist named Hudson Taylor set foot for the first time in China. As an ordinary man with shortcomings, he was full of God's mission and a heart full of gratitude. Although he had gone through a history of sufferings, Hudson Taylor spent 54 years in every province of China to spread the gospel of Christ, building medical care, education, poverty alleviation, providing disaster relief, and many more. Witnessing an ordinary man with God's faith to create extraordinary deeds. The life of Dr. Hudson Taylor affords us a view into two of his important qualities as a person, his duty and his destiny. Even though Dr. Taylor led a life that was not without difficulties, as he experienced the shadows of illness, losing his wife, his son and his daughter, being misunderstood and even facing the cries or spiritual dryness, he still stood firm and continued with his mission and duty. From this, we see that he is no doubt a man of great resilience and devotion, fulfilling the mission and trust to us by God, that he was able to spread the gospel of Christ throughout China. Hudson Taylor's life is like an adventurous journey. The house where he lived and worked in China during his early years was destroyed in a catastrophe. In such highly unfavorable circumstances, how could he move forward? Taylor wrote in his diary, God is my environment. Indeed, humans may still feel powerless. Difficulties persist and external impacts do not dissipate. However, Taylor threw his trust in God with trust. Every time he is struck, he can rise again and continue steadfastly. Actually, as my great-great-grandfather uh, and the opportunities that I've had to study his life, God's faithfulness indeed has been a very important theme right throughout his 50 years of missionary experience. It was with a conviction that God's faithfulness would go with him. Uh, the Bible that I have in my hand uh, is actually the very Bible that Hudson Taylor had with him on that day in 1865 in the southern city of Brighton. He went down to the beach, sensing God's call in his life to begin a new mission agency with a focus of taking the gospel to the inlands of China. Jehovah Jireh very much became the theme of my great-great-grandfather's missionary experience on God's mountain, experiencing God's faithfulness. As Hudson Taylor said, what we need is not great faith in God, but rather faith in a great God. We live in the age of ego. People constantly seek for self-realization and fulfillment. We compare ourselves with one another. We are all insecure. I was just like that. When I was 17 years old, I read a biography of Hudson Taylor. And in that book, he said, it seems to me that God had looked over the whole world to find a man who was weak enough to do his work. And he at last found me. That word shifted my way of looking at life. I suddenly realized that I was seeking the wrong direction. The true meaning and value of a person's life is not trying to fulfill my own dream, but to see and respond to understand the greatness of the God, our Creator. In God's hand, our brokenness can be transformed 
into something beautiful and glorious. Dr. Hudson Taylor once said, "I have found that there are three stages in every great work of God. It is impossible, it is difficult, and it's done." We witness that not only did He achieve the impossible, we also witness His unremitting spirit flourish for the future generations. This is an extraordinary story of an ordinary person. What began as the China Inland Mission in 1865. Has now become OMF International, serving among East Asia's peoples. We continue to serve in the spirit of Hudson Taylor, the sacrificial love of Christ. God's work done in God's way will never lack God's supply. We want to inspire the new generation by Hudson Taylor's unyielding faith in God to go beyond themselves and serve others. OMF is partnering with Half Crown Media to produce a film, an ordinary man. Achieving extraordinary purpose for God.